Yo, what is up, butter uppercuts and tight? <laughs> Dude, I just said butter uppercuts. It was supposed to be what's up, buttercup and tiger uppercuts. I'm sure you can build this at home if you have the parts. Man, I flubbed that pretty bad, but you know what? That was kind of funny, so um, let's just roll with it. What's up, friends? This video, I'm going to show you how to make the Junkasaurus, uh, my version, which only takes a uh, 1 one 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 trash master, one scrap hook, and one crash bar. And uh, yeah, this is going to be the tutorial. I was going to say the homie Punchy the dog, you know, the owner of Punchy's Lab, he basically called this junk kaiju, and I like that a lot because this version actually resembles kind of Godzilla. So yeah, that's his AKA, so we're just going to go with that. So I've this, I've this, yeah. I have dissected the guy. Sorry, I had a little bit of caffeine right now. Some of this is. Um, I've dissected the guys over here, and I do have Junkzilla or Junk Kaiju off on the side that I'm looking at for reference because uh, he's pretty fresh out the oven. Um, I'm dealing with a little something, something a little bit under the weather, but um, I think we can get through this okay. So, all right, so I'm going to start moving these guys apart, and we'll just kind of talk and stuff okay. Um, and I should have done some type of activity to keep you all entertained, but whatever. So let me just start moving these off the screen. Uh, and I'm just going to start building the legs. The legs are typically where I start with um, just because I like the foundation that it provides. And once you know how much heft the leg the legs can hold, um, that kind of also determines what type of build you can make on the top. Because the, the legs and everything, they kind of define center of gravity and all this other stuff. But um, anyway, anyway, while I kind of move this stuff to the side, yeah, everybody out there in TV land, I hope you are doing great or YouTube land. I don't know if TV's still around. I think it is, right? But TVs are just like giant monitors now where we just stream stuff, you know? Back in the day, you had to be chained to whatever channel and you were subjected to whatever networks were local to your area. Then cable came along and all these things changed, but whatever's clever. Okay, so this is the main portion, uh, the main the main uh, torso bit of a uh, trash master. And this is supposed to be over here. You can see that, right? And the legs of trash master are typically like, not typically, they are. They are back there. Um, yeah, they're over here. And it's supposed to be like this, but, but we've kind of taken everything apart, okay? And, uh, oh, by the way, yeah, you know, YouTube's really been kind of seeding um, and, like, kind of promoting my video to a lot of new folks. So I just want to say, hey, what's up, new folks? Oh, wait, hello, new folks. Yeah. And, of course, all the returning members, what's up to you, my loyal, loyal friends? I appreciate y'all being here. Um, yeah, it's been quite a ride. Been having a lot of fun. And so, um, anyway, anyway, just wanted to share greetings. Um, okay. We're not going to use this right now, but, um, I will tell you how we're going to start. Let's, you know what? Let's just start configuring this. I think this is the one that has the crooked mouth, by the way. I bought two trash masters and one of them got a crook mouth right here. You see it? Uh, it's, it's warped. It's supposed to be like that, but whatever, dude, gives them character. So we'll put that to the side. Uh, how did I do, <laughs> how did I do this? Okay. I can see it right now. It's like this. And uh, it's from Price is Right, by the way. I think Bob Barker died recently, right? Yeah, rest in peace to that guy. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're doing this. So essentially, you flip this over, and you put this in the front, and uh, and you're putting the head over here. And this, this is uh, what is it? The the Hasbro Junkasaurus uses the same configuration. That's where I got the idea, and that's where I started from. And uh, I haven't built theirs yet, but I took some cues. I was watching, um, what's his name? Uh, the homie Prime vs. Prime. I was watching him do that, and so I was just like, you know what? There's some interesting stuff, because his video is really, really high production value, you know? And so it's really easy for me to see what's going on, and I hadn't seen anyone build Junkasaurus yet, and so that was cool to watch. Uh, I mean, not that I'm promoting his channel. I mean, he doesn't need me to promote his, promote his channel. You know, he's big time. Uh, but yeah, so we got so we got this dude over here, and we're gonna put this off to the side, okay? Um, yeah, we're gonna put it off to the side. All right. So in this one, I know the 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 what is it? The official Junkasaurus uses trash mat or or a scrap hook rather, I think, as the as the side of the thighs and all that stuff. But um, I wanted to use Trash Master's legs. Yeah, they're nice and beefy. And especially considering the three bots, Trash Master, Scrap, and um, Crash Bar, this one, um, th this is the largest of the legs, so I thought it would be most appropriate. And so we're just popping on the, um, the Crash Bar legs. Sorry, dude, I'm an old man, and sometimes I forget the name. I I'll just mix them up. I'll call them Scrap Hook, Crash Bar, Crash Master, Trash Man, and I'll flub it, but it's all good. So we're doing this, okay? And another thing that we're going to do is see this bit over here. We're going to untab that because we need it to be loose. 
But yeah, this is the foundation. This is the beginning of the leg and you can see it starting to come together, right? Um, and the next bit that we're going to add on to here is the saddlebag. Um, I've mentioned this in the videos in, in some of the other videos. Yo, this bit right here and these bits, these are godsends. Seriously, if not for Crash Bar being among these guys, there, it'd be a lot more difficult to put them together. And so as diminutive and small that he is, yo, he he might be the best, best in the bunch in terms of building. Um, and so, yeah, we got the leg right over here. So we're going to put that to the side. And we're pretty much going to do the same for the other side. And uh, granted, there is a bit of a, um, more than just a bit, there, there is, um, uh, what is that called? It's asymmetric. <laughs> It's asymmetric, and so it may not look exactly alike, but it'll, it'll it'll be good enough because I mean these these are both these are both Crash Bar's legs anyway, um, yeah. So you see it coming together, right? You see it coming together, and trust me, once it's all there and you see the method to the madness, you'll be like, oh, I see, I see why you did that. Um, by the way, shout out to folks uh, who who make up the majority of the, the what is it? Like um, the majority of the views come from these channels. 50% comes the United States. So what's up, US of A? And then uh, coming second, third, fourth, and fifth are like Canada, UK, Australia, um, uh, and, and more than fourth and fifth. In the top 10, like uh, Indonesia, Philippines, uh, India. So yeah, yeah. Big shout out to everyone who watches. But of course, uh, big shout out to those countries because um, they make up a lot of the views. But yeah, again, thank you to everyone who watches this channel. And I appreciate it. Uh, okay. Like this, right? So cool. We'll put this off to the side. Um, you know what? Maybe we can actually do some initial initial uh, attachments. And I believe this one goes right there. Okay, you can kind of see it coming together, right? Yeah, yeah. There, there are several, um, there are several like ports over here, but we're 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 we're, 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 we're man, I shouldn't have had that caffeine. Uh, we're plugging it right there. And there is actually going to be a second point of um, connection later on. And that's going to really help um, secure the legs uh, to the build. Yeah. Having two points like of connection, like, man, it does wonders. It does wonders in terms of um, uh, solidifying a build. Yeah, I know he looks like he's about to take a, <laughs> you know, he's a trash master and like the, the dump yard. And uh, it looks like he's popping a squat, but <laughs> it's all good. Um He's going to he's gonna look completely <laughs> later on when we finish him, all right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to just move this guy off to the side. And we are now going to prepare the arms. These bits from Trash Master, the, the little exhaust bits or whatever you want to call them for um, the, the, the alt mode, these are great. These are fantastic. You can see that there's a peg over here or a post, whatever your vernacular is post and there's a port over there uh engineering terms a uh, male and female no gross stuff it's just how it's that's just how it is you know um and then over here what we're going to do is we're going to take that post or that peg and we're going to plug it into the tire i know it looks weird kind of because it's on the other side but that's okay that's okay you know just free your mind and the rest will follow the color blood no I'm kidding. that's that's a that's a song from um is it en vogue I don't know. But yeah, just free your mind. You know, don't always think that like, oh, because this is the inside, it can't be on the outside. You know, just think outside the box. And in this scenario, this works out phenomenally. And so phenomenally, is that a word? Phenomenal? Phenomenally? Anomaly? Amelie? I really like that movie, though, back in the day. You guys know that movie? The French movie, I think? Amelie? I really... Audrey Trudeau? I don't know. Um, there we go. That's one arm over there. You can see him starting to come together. And we're going to do the same for the other side. Dude, he's almost done. I can't believe it. He's almost done. Um. <laughs> he's like, yo, bro. He's like, I'm going to just take a quick nap. And I'm like, do it, homie. Um, dude, how do we? Oh, no, no, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. See, even though I built this, it'll still get me flummoxed. And so that's why I sometimes take pictures. Or like right now, I have the reference art right next to me as I'm building and uh, I'll, I'll show him to you all later. Dude, what's going on, dude? My brain can't figure this out. Okay. No. What? Dude, hold on. Okay. Oh, it's one of those things where you invert something and you put it on the other side, and I just couldn't make sense of it for a second, but there we go. 
you saw that right. Again, it's just plugged into the tire. I was gonna say this is a little bit of a loose fit, and when you when when um when I find that happens, you know that little white piece of paper that comes with uh and I can't find one for the life of me. Okay. That little white piece of paper. I just take a tiny bit. I mean, unless it, the fit is really bad, then then of course I'll use a lot, but you just put a little bit and then you kind of nestle that in there and it's very, very tight afterward. Yeah. Um, I don't like making permanent, uh, what is it, uh, changes to my toy. Like I don't like using super glue or fl floor polish, even though those are effective methods, because I find that like, let's say one bot, you don't, they don't fit well and you, t and you um, try to improve the tolerance by thickening it up. You may find that for another bot, it was perfect. And so now you've kind of like made alterations to your toy and it, it kind of doesn't work with the other guy. So anyway, that's why I use those pieces of papers because uh, they're not permanent fixes. So, okay, look, he's coming together, right? He's coming together. I know he's all loosey goosey and it looks like he's not going to stand well, but once, you, once, once, once we get the tail, it's going to be all good. Okay. So just give me one second. Let's put this guy off to the side. Oh, by the way, dude, speaking of Prime vs. Prime, so there's a bunch of people who steal my stuff um, on China Weibo, or, or not Weibo, on Bilibili, their uh, their YouTube site and stuff. And dude, I found that Prime vs. Prime has a legitimate like Chinese page where he um, wh where his YouTube stuff is on China. I'm like, wow, dude, talk about being a businessman and like spreading internationally and stuff. That's like next level, dude. Like, I don't know. Um, I mean, I know Mr. Beast does it and stuff, but like, I, I don't know how many like Transformers reviewers are all about like that international expansion. You know what I mean? And so, but I think it makes sense, dude. Like if this is what you do for a living, like this is your bread and butter, dude, why wouldn't you expand internationally and get your brand out there? You know what I mean? And so, uh, yeah, kudos, kudos to uh, young master. I don't know how old he is. I know he's pretty young, but like, yo, he's doing his thing, dude. And um, I, I know people got criticism or whatever, dude, but all I got to say is he's doing his thing and he's branching out into like international markets. And so I can't really hate on somebody trying to, you know, like, I don't know, uh, d despite whatever, what people say about how he gets his toys and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know. He's putting in his hustle. And so I, I don't, I don't, I don't got any beef with him or nothing like that. Um, but yeah, but yeah, no, he's putting in his work. I was really shocked to see that he had an international channel and I was like, wow. So he must be working with uh, some type of brand or marketing agency uh, I mean, the company that I work for, like, uh, I mean, I think I've mentioned all the channels before, but, you know, I'll just say it again. I work for Gearbox, uh, you know, the people who do, like, Borderlands, Risk of Rain, and uh, Remnant 2 recently. And, like, um, yeah, like, of course, like, when we launch our stuff, we have partners in China, too, because we're trying to make a global impact. And so when I see young homie making those moves, he's trying to make a global impact. And so I can't really knock the hustle. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't really knock the hustle. But, um, yeah, like who you like and, uh, like, in terms of influencers. But yeah, it's all up to you. Everybody got different tastes, you know what I mean? I was talking to, uh, speaking of different tastes, I was talking to Kid Chuckle. That's the homie off of uh, Instagram and also on uh, YouTube as well. And we were talking about the new Bumblebee. And um, I was like, yeah, man, I was like, I like, the, you know, the new animated Bumblebee they got coming out in Legacy. I was like, uh, oh, my bad, dude. I'm all just putting this together without, like, talking about it. But I think visually, you guys know what's going on. This is uh, Scrap Hook's legs. We put them together. This is the toe bit with the tail. And this is this is kind of like... This is going to become the tail of the of the dinosaur, and this is Crash Bar's body, and these are his arms. Crash Bar's arms, by the way, are really, really, again, Crash Bar is the best, I think, in terms of modularity between all of them. Look at him, all, so, all, all of them in there. So many posts, so many ports, so many swivels. Um, he's great. He's great. Yeah, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, but yeah, Kid Chuckle and I were talking, and uh, we we're talking about the, um, hold up, let me, let me, let me see what's going on over here. Okay. Yeah, he and I were talking about the new animated um, Bumblebee coming out from the Legacy line. And I was like, yo, I was like, hey, I, I, I love the, the body, but I, I, I don't like the head sculpt. I was like, because I was never a fan of animated um, art style. I heard the stories are great. I got a buddy named Lance who, who you know, up and down, like, he'll be like, dude, animated so good. It's the second coming. It's, it's, it's the best. And, but uh, I don't know. I just couldn't get past the art style. I'm not a big, huge chin guy, big, long face guy. And so that's not really me. And uh, I told Kid Chuckle that and he was like, ha, he's like, I'm exactly the opposite. Um, you know, meaning like he likes the head style and then like the art style, but not the body. Oh, yeah. You can see it coming together right now. Right. Hold up. Let me let me adjust the camera really quick. But you know what homie told me? And, and, and I was like, yeah, I said, you know, what? people have different tastes. And homie was like, yeah, and it's all good. And that doesn't change the the respect that I have for you. And I'm like, dude. 
Yeah, same for me, dude. Right back at you, homie, you know? So you can have your differences. You can have things that you disagree upon, and you can still totally respect each other and be totally cool. You don't have to go into flame wars. You don't have to get upset. It's not a war of ideology. It's like, nah, it's just like, I'm like, you know what? I like my uh, burger cooked medium. Other folks might be like, I like a medium well. I'm like, dude, get out of here, man. Get out of here, dude. Get out of my home. You know, I'm not going to say that. It's just it's just different taste. Yeah, it's, it's totally good. And that's what's great about life. You know, there's so many different flavors. All right. Before I go into all this flavor talk, we have this bit, right? And I told you the arms are incredible. So we have these two ports underneath here. They are going to connect to the top of those things. So we got... One right there, and then one right there. And you know what's cool about that? It allows you, the, the tail kind of moves a tiny bit, tiny bit. You see that? No? All right, a little bit. <laughs> and then you can rotate it on Crash Bar's waist too. But, um, but yeah, going back to that thing, it's like, dude, yeah, man, celebrate your differences. Variety is the spice of life, you know? Celebrate being different, yeah, but still respect each other. And, uh, and I think that's great. I think that's great. Yeah. Don't be uh, don't be caught up in all the tribalism stuff that they try to feed you to say hate the other side or something like that. No, nah, it's not about that, dude. We're all people. We're all people just trying to have fun, trying to have happiness, finding peace and joy in this life. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter who you love. It doesn't matter when you were born. No, nah, we're all just people having fun. Like, dude, I'm a fossil. I'm an old dude, but I'm having fun with these toys. And uh, yeah, you know. So, by the way, speaking of that, I'm trying to figure something out right now. Something's not quite right. I think it, I think I just need to kind of like fiddle with the orientation and stuff. And he's kind of falling over. Um, but anyway, these are the last bits to go on. Oh, there, there's a couple of other accessories, and I'll go over that. We're taking this, and we're plugging it on the top. And actually, when I look at this, it makes me think of the very big, bulbous, like, hip joints. You know when you look at um, uh, Kingdom Megatron, how the Tyrannosaurus has these big thighs, the big chicken leg thighs. That's what I think of it as, the big chicken leg thighs. And um, I don't know if I haven't, if I've done something wrong per se, but I can't get him to quite stand in the way that I would like. I mean, granted, my, uh, my table is very slippery, but you can kind of see it there, right? My table is very slippery, but the other guy's standing fine. Anyway, so we have the little hook that we haven't used yet, right? So we're just gonna get plug that into the top. The clearance is a little tricky. The clearance is a little tricky because there's that red thing. That, you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna. I don't know, dude. You could put this anywhere, really. But before I do that, see how there's all this gap over here by the side of the head. In order to cover that, we're gonna get one of the chevrons, the exhaust bits from Scrap Hook, and we're gonna cover that there. I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, sorry, not to get all like fortune cookie on you all. I mean, like, I'm not trying to preach or nothing like that. I just think of us as like neighbors. If I was your neighbor, this is what you would hear from me, you know? If I encountered on the street and we were just talking about stuff, these are my worldviews and this is what you would hear from me. I'm certainly not trying to preach or say that I'm holier than thou or anything like that, but I don't know. That's how I approach life and I think it's fun. I think it's fun. I don't like having static with people. I don't like having beef. I just want to get along with everyone. And um, yeah. I got no time for that nonsense, you know? So, all right. So, here he is right now. And he's kind of, like, I don't know. That, okay. <laughs> I was like, this guy is standing much better than him. And as soon as I said that, he kind of fell too. But there you go. There's both of them. And uh, so, I, th I think you just got to arrange it and, and get it right. All right, that's a little bit better. Oh, wait here. Yeah, and you're like, dude, how many how many junkions does this guy have? I have three of each. I have three crash, three scrap, three trash masters, uh, three axle greases, three tow lines. I typically buy three of each um, because I like having one bot and then trying to have two other to kind of um, to arm him up or something like that. But there you go, there you go. Two of the junkasauruses and uh, or or uh, junkzilla, junk kaiju. And a little bit of some fortune cookie talk from me. I uh, hope you don't find any of that offensive. You know, I'm not trying to rub anyone the wrong way or anything like that. Um, but yeah, just trying to have fun, you know. 
So cool. Play with your toys and um, yeah, find some peace and happiness. Um, and uh, yeah, let's talk again soon, okay? And so yeah, be cool to yourselves, be cool to others. Um, yeah, and uh, I will catch you again next time. Bye-bye.